So if you look at travel blogging sites, you know, and there are a lot of them that I go and I look at, you'll find that a lot of them refer to 2023 as the year of revenge travel. What is revenge travel? Revenge travel is where people have made up for the ability to travel where they couldn't have within the past three years. As you know, within the past three years, we had a situation going on where air travel was banned. A lot of countries didn't let people in. And generally, a lot of people had to basically stay home. Not anymore. The skies are back. The the airplanes are taken off. A lot of countries are not even requiring proof of vaccination anymore. So you can pretty much freely travel wherever you want. Well, pretty much. So I've been doing a fair bit of traveling myself. And some of it is not necessarily 100% pleasure, even though I have fun everywhere I go. Some of it is related to my service to the amateur radio community, things I do for you. So I've made two big trips this year. One of them, as you know, on this channel, I interviewed Wojciech uh, SP5WWP for the M17 project, and that was done in Germany. I was at Ham Radio Friedrichshafen, and I'm hoping to go next year too. And this year I was also at the JARL Ham Fair in Japan, where we made a lot of great connections. I was there with ARDC, who's a fantastic organization, doing some great work. So one of the things that comes up, though, is that to get to these places, you have to have one of these. And me, as an American citizen, I have an American passport. I used to have another passport. I might try to get it back. But one time I did lose my passport. It was not a pleasant thing to do. And, you know, I had to go. And well, one time I actually lost a passport in Trinidad too, and I, I was chewed out by the immigration officer. But this one is a replacement for a lost passport, as you can see here, you know, and I have my beautiful passport stamps from Germany. And I have a little sticker from Japan. Anyway, you want to prevent this from happening in the future, right? So what I have here, you see, I have little cards here. I have my global entry. I have this nice little Passmo passport with Hello Kitty and all of the rest of them. You know, I love Hello Kitty and Pokemon. So I also have this thing. What is this thing you might ask? Well, this is a little tracker from a company known as Sinjon. And they are a flat tracker that's basically the size of a ID card or credit card that you can put in your wallet, in your purse, in your pocket, or you can put it together with your passport like I did. So do you know what that means? That means no more lost passport. Not only does it work there with the passport and it's a nice slim size, I also don't need any additional software. You know, I've been using trackers for a long time. I use Tile and Tile pretty much required its own app to be running in the background, which was a big drawback. Now I've migrated everything over to Find My. So this works with Find My in the Apple Store. Well, not in the Apple Store, on your, my iPhone. If you have an Android, you can get their own app. And how it works is that if you leave your passport and um, it's not connected, well, your phone will throw up an alert. But also, if you lose it, you can see where it last was found. And then if, you're, if it's nearby, you can kind of give it a ring. So here I'm going to go passport here. I'm going to play the sound. And you hear it. Okay. And I stop the sound. It does use Bluetooth low energy, which means it's powered, which means that it has a battery you have to charge. They do supply a charging clip, which clips on and clips to the back. It's really neat. You can use that. I got two of them in the box. I got one of them, this passport size, and a little smaller one I could hang off a bag with a bag tag. Cool stuff. The only drawback to these is that you can not use it in the same way you use AirTags. Like you can't use the ultra wideband to go find it around with arrows and stuff. You can't do that. However, I found that that's not such a big deal 
because oftentimes, you know, I can just beep it and it'll be with me. And the main thing is basically knowing exactly where it is or where it was. So that's not a big deal for me. And I, I do that. I like the smaller size. Air tags can be a little bit cumbersome because they're like this flat, this little pod, you know, round thing that doesn't really fit neatly into a slot. So anyway, um, if you want one of these, I have a description, I have them in the description down below. Um, be sure to check them out. Senjon, they're a very good uh, company that makes uh, these trackers and they're very durable and rechargeable and um, good range too. I've tried them in my travels to Japan and, uh, you know, I was able to track my passport, make sure I didn't lose it because I did come back here. <laughs> they did let me back in the country. All right, my friends, stay safe and see you soon. Peace in 73.